the sounds of strife, the cries of battle, the wounds of war become for all eternity in your loving and endless grace. Let these great warriors find rest at last, ever reminded that we who are left behind cherish their spirit, honor their commitment, and send our love and prayers to their families. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First of all, there's some folks that we like to thank and, and, and introduce, but first I'd like to uh, thank some guys that are standing behind me with our legislation who helped uh, fund uh, a big portion of this uh, statue. So at this time I'd like to have uh, Bruce Westerman, Bruce Cozart, and Bill Sample stand up. And Mr. Alan Clark just showed up. If it wasn't for them, uh, this might not have happened just quite as fast. Also, I uh, would like to uh, also introduce uh, some folks that are in the audience. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, if you'll stand, please. And I'd like to introduce Kelly Brown, Adam's wife. Okay, you can sit down. <laughs> You know, it was very important to these folks that this, this memorial is the Fallen Heroes Memorial. This is not the Adam Brown Memorial. Adam was chosen as the, uh, the, the uh, sculptures picked him to uh, do, but this is for all fallen heroes. And what a perfect day to do it on Pearl Harbor Day. I mean, it couldn't, because we lost 2,700 people one year ago today, or 73 years ago today. I'm a lot older than I look. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than thank you, thank you, thank you for the crowd that's here today, for the donations that were given to us out of your heart. And because I got a phone call last week from a young lady and said well, she was so glad we were doing this on Pearl Harbor Day. I said, why? She said, my grandfather was on the Arizona. Mm. She says, and it, it is Fallen Heroes Day. So, thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. What a tremendous crowd, and what a great honor it is for all of us to be a part of this. My name is Tom Wilkins, and we, I would like to at this time bring to the stage uh, several of our friends from Hot Springs over there, the Fun City Chorus, and they're, and they're going to do uh, the rendition of a beautiful, beautiful song. Give them a big hand. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. He graduated from the University of Arkansas with a Bachelor of Science degree in engineering yeah. in 1990 and subsequently received a master's degree in forestry from Yale University. Ladies and gentlemen, member-elect of the United States House of Representatives from Arkansas's 4th District, taking office on January 3rd of next year. Please welcome to the music stand, United States Congressman-elect Bruce Westerman. I was good with everything but the music stand. We could probably see a crowd disperse as fast as it built up if I started to sing. Thank you all for coming today. It's a beautiful day. It's a great occasion to be here. And it's really a true way to show your honor by your attendance today. I'd like to introduce uh, some friends of mine who have been friends for years and years. And sometimes they're known as the Golden Harvest Singers. And when we combine with our family, they're known as the Wilkins Family uh, Singers. And so we're going to call them that today. Come on, guys. America. The whole thing, from what I understand, started because of this gentleman. He's in documented film festivals kind of thing, and he did a documentary on Adam. He's going to tell you how to get to it and so forth. But this is the whole catalyst of everything falling in place down the road. And um, I also want you to introduce the gentleman that did the uh, 
Underwater statue. Is it here? What? Bill Stewart. Where's Bill? Yeah, that's why I said Will Stevens. Will's, oh, Will's back there in the back on Lake Washita. There is an underground statue of of uh, Adam underwater that he did. So he did that a couple of years ago. So thank you. And his dad's here. So without further ado, because I don't know anything about this fine gentleman, other than he looks just like uh, I used to, Mr. Rick Stevens. Mr. Rick Stevens. Stewart. That's the second person that's commented on my weight today. They're kind of making me self-conscious. Oh, well, some little girl when I was coming in called me Santa. <laughs> And I'm kind of hoping that charcoal-colored indelible marker doesn't come out of your dress. <laughs> you know, Adam Brown was uh, very proud of his country, um, his hometown. And today to see um, not only God honored in a pledge, in a prayer, in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then to see this crowd that showed up, I understand why. You're to be commended for being here today, and I know that Adam would be proud of you. I want to take an opportunity today, a chance to speak about the legacy of a man that uh, I had the great fortune to meet, whose life and his story not only changed my life, but continues to change so many others in so many ways. Larry, Janice, Kelly, Savannah, Nathan, Amanda, Sean, to all your extended families and friends and his teammates, I, I know that you had a choice who could come and speak on your behalf today or Adam's behalf today, and I want you to know that I'm humbled beyond words that you have chosen me. Here he came. So, Mr. Mike White. <laughs> Playing Amazing Grace. Parachute, folks. Oh. 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 